they always say good deeds never go unpunished. Well, when you do a good deed, you, sometimes you get screwed over, but a lot of times you get back tenfold what you send down. Yeah, well, you know the old saying, which you always get, around, yeah. you get bad at it. you, and it's actually mm -hmm. how you react and to it's it. Still bad. Bad. So it's we're here to out. bring good of it. And you got your own project. Could you briefly describe that? Uh, yes, sir. I'm actually the CEO of a um, company that I just formed in, back in March called the Elysium Project. Uh, Elysium was actually the Greek heaven for heroes. And um, what I've done under the Elysium Project is founded a nonprofit called Gascony Veterans Memorial Campground, which is going to be a campground for people with disabilities, youth, youth groups, church groups, places where families can come down, people with disabilities can come down and actually enjoy the outdoors in the Mark Twain National Forest and uh, be treated like equals. And um, part of the other project we do under the, uh, the Elysium Project is called Heroes Way. And that's uh, a bunch of, you know, retired veterans like myself that um, go out and we help other people. But uh, the situation with uh, JJ here is uh, he actually came out to my property to help with some volunteer work of um, helping to refurbish the camp down there. So, of course, when I found out that she needed some assistance, I went ahead and... Uh, Took the day off working down there at the camp, uh, building that stuff, and brought my son out here, and we're helping her. And if people wanted to donate or mm -hmm. help your um, 501, help your yes, I, I'm group? actually waiting for the 501C from my federal nonprofit to get approved. Okay. And if they they wanted to uh, get in touch with me, they can contact me on. Um, we actually have a Facebook account, Gasconade Veterans Memorial Campground. And uh, as soon as I get my one certificate back from the state of Missouri, I'll actually have PayPal where people can donate. And one unique thing about the way that uh, my project is run is I have what I've, uh, I call an open ledger. I've accounted for every single penny that I've spent out of my own pocket to purchase that property and to refurbish it. So far, the only donation that I've actually accepted was a $50 donation from uh, the Friendship Baptist Church down the road. Um, but every single penny goes back into the project. Nothing goes into my pocket or any of the other board members of either Gascony uh, Veterans Memorial Campground or the Elysium Project. 100% of the proceeds goes into building the campground. And once we get it, completely finished with the handicapped sidewalks and access, then what we're going to be able to do is take the money that's left over and sponsor families and people that need it to bring them down so that they can actually camp for free. If we need to, it would be plane tickets to bring them out, pick them up at the airport, transportation, everything we can possibly do to help people out. To help veterans or just not anyone? Just, not just veterans. Uh, our, of course, our primary focus is veterans like myself. Um, I'm a disabled veteran. But it's also for anyone who has a disability, and not just a physical disability. We also have plans to work with the Sheltered Workshop in Richland, Missouri. And uh, Richland, uh, the um, uh, Sheltered Workshop up in Richland works with uh, adults that have uh, uh, learning disabilities, or they were born with Down syndrome, spinal bifida, things like that. Could you briefly explain what, what's going on here with the trailer and that one there? Okay, well, what's going on with this one is we're demolishing, taking what good materials that we can out of this home and taking it next door to the other trailer, which actually also needs to be rebuilt. The wiring was ripped out of that. This one's just falling apart, so we're going to take what good materials we can, build up another house, build up the other trailer so that she can have a home to live in. Whether it be cabinets, whether it be paneling, any good materials we take out of here have got to go next door so that we can actually, if we find, if there's decent insulation, if not, throw it away and get rid of it. We'll and, get it hold out of here. What is your name? Gary. Gary. My name is Gary Powers. Gary Powers. From Lakeway, Missouri? Uh, it's at, our address is actually Richland, but Pretty much. Lakeway, yeah. And why is everyone doing this for JJ? Because she's, she's a loving woman who actually cares about other people. She will give up, she gives the shirt on her back to help you out in a time of need. She's a real sweetheart. She's got a big heart. 
She's been, uh -huh. some people have not Later, done her right. And honestly, I consider her family, even though we're not blood related. And Jennifer, that's Jennifer Pritchett? That is Jennifer Pritchett, yes.
Looking good. Yeah. Rolling five, four, three. Lana Jeffries with Lana Jeffries Music LLC. We have green screen set up now, and we're just practicing, seeing what we can do to show you. So you would like us to have you on the green screen? Stars. Here we are. Just give us a call.